Hello my crafting friends, I'm coming today with a challenge for Jamie who is Poet Spice here on YouTube and she's having a um, three part challenge, she's having a um, try flip I think is what she called it or like a flip book challenge. Um, so I'm going to jump right in and show you what I created. So she wanted us to send like a birthday card or kind of an uplifting card to her aunt. Um, and it's Auntie L. I can't remember um, what her name was, but so I had gotten, I had saw an enabler um, alert on somebody's channel. I think it was Crafty Rats. So there was a huge dollar sale at Katie B Designs or Katie Sue B Designs, something like that. Anyway, um, so there was these cute little, um, they were from Flowersoft is the company, these little hedgehogs, and they're just like little card toppers. And you got like six or seven, eight in a pack for a dollar. So I got a bunch of those and just added it with some pattern paper. Um, I think this is Heidi Swap. Yeah, it is. It's a Heidi Swap pack that I got at um, Art Attack Supplies. This was in my Spellbinder um, kit for this month, and so is this. And then I just added um, a cute little organza bow. This was just gifted to me from Tina Kappa. So thank you, Tina. And then I got some club um, scrap stamps um, here recently. Someone had shown on a Facebook group a coffee set they had. And so I found some other stamps I liked. So this was um, one of their stamps. is happy birthday. Celebrate getting older. Life is better when you're laughing. I thought that was cute. So just kind of a fun little. And she said she wasn't. Um, a girly girl or um, any of that. So I thought if she was into flowers and nature, that would be cute. So that's the card I'm sending for her to give to her aunt. And then she wanted us to make a 5 by 7 altered envelope. So I took an envelope from my stash, put a bunch of Tim Holtz ground espresso, uh, hickory smoke, blueprint sketch, um, and the Ground espresso, I just blended all over, and then the hickory smoke here, I used a stencil on, and then this is a chicken wire stencil that Laura Loves Lace had given me, and I used the blueprint sketch ink on that. Did the back and the front, and then she wanted us to put, um, you know, just a little um, card in there, and I know she likes music notes, and then this is, um, the back is just a blue that I thought matched with this blue. It's double-sided because it was kind of a thin paper so and then I'm gonna show you uh, my flip book I did look on her challenge and she I this is what I did was the um, envelopes from recollections that you get with the um, oh with the corrugated cards so you have a bunch left over so I took those and I put three of them together to make this flip book and it it is almost it might be a little Small, but it's like a six by six size, which I think she wanted a little bigger. So um, I'm sorry about that, Jamie. If it's not exactly the size you wanted, the size that she had written down in her video seemed to be like a a, a different size for me. If even if you did like the trifold one, which I have done some of those, but those turn out to be like four by six. So anyway, I hope this is going to be acceptable. I had a lot of fun creating this for you, and I used um, the Heidi Swap um, papers, and she. Um, is not really, she likes all colors, she likes really bright um, things, so I hope she'll like this. So this little green sequence um, trim here I had gotten from Stephanie, who's Vintage Paper Girl, along with these gold um, flowers and this pretty bow. And then this rosette here and the chipboard pieces are all from the Spellbinders kit um, for this month for the card kit. And then these really fun little curly cues are from my Stamps of Life card kit. This is some little bee um, washi tape that I got it Tuesday morning. And then since it was a little bit chunky, I added just um, a tiny little Velcro piece here. And then this was a st uh, stamped or an image, and I believe it came from New Crafter Bev, my aunt. I think she had used her scan and cut and cut out a bunch when I had a challenge going on um, for colored images. And then these also were part of the Spellbinders kit. And then in here I just put some tags for her that I had die cut. I know she loves her tags. And then um, these are more of the Spellbinders um, card kit 
images and this is a colored and stamped image that I got from Donna Gonzalez when she did my challenge and then I have some little goodies tucked in here for Jamie which I'm not going to spoil and show her those. These also were part of the Spellbinders um, kit and this is a fun little image that I got um, from that same um, dollar sale like her the card that I made for her aunt and this image also I thought that was really cute the little kid and their little doggy and then the smile and the remember are from the Spellbinders kit and there's some die cuts in here for Jamie as well and then I just put my um, created with love stamp on the back so I hope that you um, enjoy your challenge entries Jamie for a fun challenge I've really loved making these flip books um, Natasha, who is Menashka here on YouTube, is um, doing a challenge too for some flip books for some crafty friends. So um, I'm going to hopefully to get those done as well. So yeah, I just, I think this is a fun way, um, you know, to, if you don't make it too bulky, this one is probably a little bulkier than, um, you know, normal, but you can make them fairly flat and they're, you know, fairly inexpensive to send to a crafty friend to just let them know that you're thinking about them. So thank you, Jamie, for a super fun challenge. Thank you, ladies, for watching and happy crafting.